Welcome back. Let's now bring you updates on what's happening in our neighboring nation, Pakistan. Imran Khan could well be on his way out of the Pakistan Prime Minister's office by next week if he does not really manage to get support at his end. There is a no-confidence motion that has been tabled already against Imran Khan by the opposition netas. And for now, the political turmoil in Pakistan could actually oust Imran Khan. Take a look at what's been happening in Pakistan and why precisely has Imran Khan now facing the brunt of the past four years of his tenure? He was expected to bring about a Naya Pakistan. Instead, Naya Prime Minister is likely on the cards in Islamabad. On Monday, a no-confidence motion was tabled against Imran Khan by opposition leader and main contender for Prime Minister's position, Shahbaz Sharif. To move the following resolution for a vote of no-confidence against the Prime Minister. When he took charge, Imran Khan propped up with the support of the Pakistan army and a globally recognized celebrity face who enjoyed familiarity with the West had raised many hopes. Today, Pakistan citizens are disillusioned with Imran. Protests break out regularly against his administration. So what went wrong for the cricketer turned Neta? Pakistan has dropped 16 spots in the corruption index and is ranked at 140, showing a huge increase in corruption as per Transparency International. Barring 2018, the economy has barely grown under his watch. Pakistan is battling high inflation, a slowing economy and rising external debt servicing obligations to China and Saudi Arabia. Global money laundering and terrorist financing watchdog, the FATF, has retained Pakistan on its terrorism financing list. With regular interference on Kashmir, Imran has ignored his own backyard of terror shelters. Imran has not been able to come out of the image that he mainly acts on Pakistan army and ISI orders. Critics say Imran's attempts have been more about getting rid of the opposition. If Imran Khan loses the no-trust vote, PMLN President Shahbaz Sharif could be the next Prime Minister of Pakistan. Imran will now have two options buy time for himself to garner support of allies for voting and two, a last-minute agreement with the Pakistan Army and ISI. In Pakistan's so-called democratic history, no Prime Minister has completed a full term. Imran Khan's chances are also looking very slim at this time. Bureau Report, India Today. So then what are now the scenarios available for Imran Khan? Let me now take you through one by one, two scenarios that we have available at the Pakistan National Assembly. The total members in the Assembly are 342. The majority mark, 172. And for now, Imran Khan has that number. So first scenario will be 17 Alliance members stay with the Imran Khan government, which means their number will be at 178. United Opposition at 164. All sounds okay for Imran Khan, but now, as it appearing that one by one the allies are dumping Imran Khan, what is scenario two? Total members 342, majority mark 172, 17 alliance members, if they quit and exit the Imran Khan government that has 155 of its own party, will eventually manage to only have about 160 or 161, falling short of the majority mark. And that means there will be, of course, a lot of trouble for Imran Khan. But let me take you through what precisely are the military challenges that we have. Remember for now, Imran Khan precisely had the support of the Pakistan army and the ISI. And for everyone knows, and even for the cricketer turned Neta, it is the ISI that is the third empire eventually for the cricket politics there in Pakistan. Let's begin. The Imran Bajwa ties were smooth over four years. They were actually propped up, as he was called at the time when he became the Prime Minister. But what happened after that? Once, by 2021, Imran Khan started to take his own decisions, the fight over the appointment of Nadeem Anjum as ISI chief was one of the bigger flashpoints. By 2021, that is by last year, 
relations beginning to strain between the army and Imran Khan. Imran had close ties with former ISI chief Fez Hamid as well. But this is where when the decisions for the top positions, the transfers and other political decisions started to be taken, that is when now Imran's bid to push Hamid's name as next army chief was in the contention. General Bajwa, of course, needs to be on the same page for Imran Khan if they want to avoid at least this ouster. Remember, in the democratic history of Pakistan, no big neta has actually managed to retain the government and has been ousted one way or another. Therefore, now take a look at this special report. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan is fighting for survival. The opposition tabled a no-confidence motion on Monday against the Imran Khan government. His fate will be decided very soon, possibly by the 4th of April, but it will be decided, one, by his own allies. Many Many of whom are waiting for a cue from the army. Rawal Pindi, meanwhile, has not taken a public stand so far. What are the allies up to? What are the numbers for Imran Khan? And is the clock ticking for Pakistan Prime Minister? Take a look at this special report. Members, Imran needs 172 votes to defeat the motion. Imran Khan's Pakistan, Tehreek e Insaf, has 155 lawmakers. Khan is supported by the Muttahida Qawmi Movement Pakistan with its seven members. Imran's other allies have 14 seats. The chances of Imran surviving the trust appears bleak. At least 24 of Khan's own party members could vote against him. To add to his woes, three allies with 17 seats have already joined the opposition. The opposition has 162 members. It needs the vote of just 10 lawmakers to oust Imran. Ahead of the no-confidence motion, in a mega show of strength, Imran Khan organized a rally in Islamabad. Khan claimed foreign powers are conspiring to topple his three-year-old government. जो ये खत है, ये सबूत है, हमारे मुल्क में बाहर से पैसे की मदद से हुकूमत तब्दील करने की कोशिश की जा रही है। While taking on the opposition, Imran surprisingly praised India and Bangladesh. अगर हम उस अजमत पे नहीं पहुंच सके बहुत बड़ी वजह उसकी ये चोर हुकमरान जिन्होंने 30 साल से इस मुल्क को लूटा है जब ये दो करप्ट खानदान इस मुल्क के ऊपर हावी हुए हैं हर चीज में हम पीछे रह गए सारे बरसगीर में हिंदुस्तान आगे निकल गया बंगलादेश से हम इतना आगे थे कि कोई तस्वर भी नहीं कर सकता था कि बंगलादेश भी एक दिन हमारे से आगे निकल जाएगा Imran's biggest concern is that he seems to have lost the trust of the all-powerful Pakistan army. If he loses the trust vote, Imran will go down in history as the first Prime Minister to be ousted in the Assembly. But then, no Prime Minister has completed a full five-year term in Pakistan. Bureau Report, India Today.